Good morning. For those inside the church, would you kindly take a moment to ensure all cell phones are turned off? Today, we celebrate the fifth Friday of Lent. Today's Mass is being offered for Norber Norberto and Honorina Franco. Please stand and greet our pre presider, Father Bernard. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father Welcome to this Mass. We first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of spirit, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness, set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In distress, Jeremiah raised his voice to the Lord. O oh Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughingstock all day long. Everyone mocks me. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble, and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, you test the righteous. You see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retrib retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evildoers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, 
and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard me. The Lord is my shield and the source of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. The cords of death encompassed me the torrents of perdition assailed me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. In my In sons, my Christ, I, I called call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have words of everlasting life. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews took up stones to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I, I said, you are gods? If those to whom the word of God came were go called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest Jesus again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Many came to Jesus, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. The Gospel of the Lord. What do people in Christ Jesus? Uh, Prophet Jeremiah uses a very strong word in the first reading to describe his relationship with God. You have enticed me, Lord, and I have been enticed. Very strong word. Um, not, of course, unwillingly, but quite willingly. There was a time initially when 
Prophet Jeremiah, when he was called, was reluctant to accept the, the call to prophesy. But the Lord prevailed on him, and he did prophesy. Even in the context of threats and danger to his life, Jeremiah was faithful to God. A very strong relationship. And that is the problem between um, the, the Pharisees had towards, with Jesus in the Gospel. Jesus is talking about his relationship with the Father. The Father is in me, and I am in the Father. It was this close relationship, this close intimate relationship, that the Pharisees could not understand because for the Pharisees um, God was up in the air. Um, that close relationship, intimate relationship um, would not be accepted by them. The, the transcendence of God was respected so much by the Pharisees that his imminence in us or in the world was not given enough or due uh, recognition. That is something uh, the Pharisees could not accept about Jesus. For him to be able to say, my father, and to say, the father is in me, and I am in the father. They could not accept it. But then, these words bring out the reality, the truth, of the relationship, the intimate relationship between Jesus and God the Father. So intimate that the word he uses when he, when he addresses God, our Father, in the prayer, our Father, he uses the word Daddy, which is the intimate word used by children towards the Father. And that was taboo for the um, Pharisees. But the reality was that Jesus was so closely united to the Father. So much so, so much so, he would not refuse to undergo the passion, the crucifixion, crucifixion and death out of love for the Father. And in the communion antiphon, we'll have it later, uh, we have the quotation from St. Peter's letter, second, first Peter chapter 2. We have all been healed by his wounds. This is what we are meditating on these days. We have all been healed by his wounds. And he would not refuse the Father because that's the way um, the Father wanted to save us by sacrificing the Son. So close, so intimate was the relationship with the Father. So my dear people, as the, during the following um, few days before the, the Triduum, we might also spend some time meditating on this. The relationship between Jesus and the Father. The intimate relationship. And the right he has given us, us people, the right to call God the same way, address him as Daddy. Uh, we, let's meditate on this and um, having in front of our eyes his wounds of which we are not worthy, let's try to deepen our relationship with God who is in our hearts, who has made us his temples, deepen our relationship. God bless you. We stand for the intercessions. We pray for the entire Christian world, all the members, those who are preparing or called to prepare for the celebration of the three holy days, that the Lord may show them how the Father loves us, everyone, and so that we may respond equally with loving hearts. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for peace in the world, for 
leaders, world leaders, who are responsible for the conduct of uh, the relationship between nations, that they may always seek as their first choice peaceful ways of resolving differences. And we also pray for those who have become victims of the enmities and the violence of um, the war. We pray to the Lord. We now pray for our personal intentions. Our own intentions, the intentions of those who are around us in this church, those who are following us from uh, their, their homes, especially for those suffering from illnesses, pain, weakness, we pray to the Lord. We also pray for the special intention of today's Mass, namely the repose of the souls of Noberto and Honorina Franco. May the souls of these and of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. We conclude our intercessions with a prayer to our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now that the hour of our death. Amen. Bless thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this breath that we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Death thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my nakedness and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Grant a merciful God that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give your thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, 
your judgment of the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop, into all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, and let be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we give those who trespass us against us. Lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take me the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the body of Christ. Bless you. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross so that dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ and glorify the Lord with your lives. Thanks to you, Thanks to you for coming to pray the Mass together. Have a blessed day.